Hello and welcome. Today I would like to show you a proposal, actually two proposals, for an international airport that I did a while ago. And I wanted to give you a little insight, a little insight, uh, about how I went about that. The first one was for the thin wall of the restrooms. Uh, it would be two new concourses and when you walk into the restroom normally there is a little privacy wall there that you have to walk around before you actually get into the uh, restroom and so that's what I was designing. Um, it's a competition and all the artists were given the same information which was basically the rendering that you see before you excluding the, uh, the white part around the, the fin wall and what's on the fin wall that I added in myself. So not a whole lot of information so after a few questions I found out that uh, the walls of the concourse are woven perforated steel so kind of silver color somewhat matte and the floor would be uh, blue and white terrazzo. The restroom interior would be white tiles on the wall and the floor. So pretty neutral place, to, or a pretty, pretty neutral uh, uh, canvas to paint on, as it were. Um, so since the lines and the architecture are mostly organic, you know, these round, flowing, weaving forms, I took the approach of using geometric shapes and forms. And because color was pretty quiet in the uh, airport, and since this was for an airport in Florida, where they like color, go Florida, um, I decided to go for something bold and colorful, which is, uh, would really tie in well with the other art that was already uh, existing in the airport. So in a nutshell, my theme was take me whichever way the wind blows, because of course, you know, I need to have a kind of a point of reference for designing. And it was for eight restroom thin walls four for the men, four for the women. And so I um, did four colorways in warm colors and four in cool colors, just so there's a little differentiation. And I chose eight different wind systems on uh, the seven permanently inhabited continents of the world. So what you're seeing here is Sirocco. And um, I wanted to keep to my own style, be true to my own style, and I work with stripes, I paint with stripes, so that's what I did. And I played with an optical illusion. The wall is actually flat, but I did it in such a way, designed it in such a way, that it looks like it's a half cylinder. And basically it's quite simple. The stripes would just be wider uh, in the middle and then they would get narrower towards the side, so it was pretty simple. So that was really the um, inspiration behind that one. A few months later, the competition started for the windows. And uh, while well, I had the added benefit that I already knew a bit more about the restrooms, um, and so I set about the windows, and the theme for this was flying day and night to get back to you. And if you've ever said goodbye to some a loved one or someone you know at the airport, you know how kind of, yeah, sad it is to let them go, but then of course how great it is when they come back and you can hug them again. So, um, and of course, you know, tying into my own personal experience as an expat. So what I did was um, keeping with the geometric theme, because of course everything is um, organic. The floor you can see is blue and white terrazzo and it's an organic flowing line. Um, I once again went, as I said, with the geometric, uh, lots of people outside right now. Um, I went with the geometric shape and what it is, it's a, a condensation trail of a plane at night and during the day and it's quite simple. And in both designs I've used gray and white in every color combination. In the restrooms I also used apple green so that everything ties together, there's a cohesion. In the windows, it's the center portion um, that's the gray and white that's the same. And I just kept it simple with four colors or four shades of blue and then four shades of orange. And it's essentially painting with stripes again, but it's color gradation. And it actually inspired me 
for the piece that I'm working on right now. It's a piece called Transcendence. And um, if you were to look at the sketch, you would see that it's the same idea as the contrail, but turned so that it looks more like a funnel. And well, I've got a long way to go still. I'd say I'm about a third of the way done. The fourth panel is actually at the top of the table. But uh, the center portion is then uh, highly reflective. There's a lot more reflection going on. And then the background, which is a color gradation from aqua to royal blue to purple, it's more matte. So anyway, things have a way of evolving. You know, you come up with one great idea, you really like it, you're not done with it. So until you've worked it through your system, um, yeah, it comes back again. So this is what happened here. But anyway, so that's really a, a quick update on what I'm working on and uh, what I've done recently, or at least uh, somewhat recently. So I hope that was, uh, yeah, a little something to think about. There's a lot of work um, that, I, that goes into it that I haven't mentioned with proposals. A lot of uh, business stuff that you have to think about. Budgets and, you know, budgets, minor detail, and how you're going to do things. But uh, yeah, that's a, a quick look into the design process in any event. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.